In this video, we're going to work out the curvature, we're going to work out the curvature and the unit normal vector of a helix. So, uh, so the, posi the position vector of, um, of the helix is given by this. So let's say the particle is moving, moving around here. Let's, ju let's just imagine the particle is currently here. If you, uh, if you look at the position vector here, if you differentiate it, it will give you your velocity vector. It will give you your velocity vector. So to work out the curvature, we need to differentiate, we need to differentiate the unit tangent vector with respect to time. So, um, so if you, so this is, you start out with your position vector, differentiate it, that will then give you your v. That will then give you your v. But to obtain the, uh, the unit, the, the unit tangent, you will need to divide it by its magnitude. Let's just imagine this has a magnitude of 3. So you need to divide it by 3. So once you've divided by 3, then this will have a length of 1. And this is your unit tangent vector. And then later on, we'll need to differentiate this, this unit tangent vector. So let's start again here. You've got your position vector here. Differentiate it. That will then give you this v here. That will then give you this v here. But then we need to divide it by its magnitude. So we need to work out the magnitude of v. Well, the magnitude of v is you using Pythagoras on this in 3D space. So square this, that will then give you this. Square this and square this, and then take the square root of the whole thing. That will then give you the magnitude in 3D space. So if you tidy this up, tidy this up, that will then give you this. So now we've got our magnitude and we've got our v. So we can obtain our unit tangent. So our unit tangent is given by this, which is um, which is us getting v. So uh, this is v here. Divide uh, divide its um, its uh, divide the first component by its magnitude, which is this thing here. So you would get this divided by this thing here. That would then give you this. Looking at the middle component, get the whole lot divided by its magnitude which is this thing here, that will then give us this. Looking at the last component, divided by its magnitude, that will then give you this. So our unit, uh, our unit tangent vector is given by this. And then, and then tidy this up so you can factor. This thing here is really a constant. So you can actually, it's a constant, constant, constant. So you can actually take the whole thing out, factor it out. So our unit tangent is given by this. So remember to work out curvature. So to work out curvature, uh, curvature is, is defined by this, uh, but we don't really understand what it means to differentiate the unit tangent with respect to arc length. So we would use some sort of algebra to take us to here. So we would make use of this rather than this. So to work out the curvature, we would need to differentiate the um, the unit tangent with respect to time. Find its magnitude and then divide it by the magnitude of, um, of v. So, so when, um, when when you're trying to work out curvature, um, picture this in your mind. Let's let's just imagine the particle is moving along here of any curve. Uh, let's just let's just imagine the particle is here. Um, differentiate the position vector. That will then give you your velocity vector. Divided by its magnitude, that will then give you your the tangent, your unit tangent. And then if, if, you, uh, if you differentiate the unit tangent with respect to time, it will give you a new vector. And this new vector will be orthogonal to the unit, it will be at 90 degrees to the, um, to the unit tangent. Uh, and, then, and then what it's saying is work out the magnitude, work out this length here, and then divide it by, so this gets multiplied to the top, and then divide it by its, um, it's uh, divided by the magnitude of the velocity, so divided by the length of this v, the, le the length of this v, then it will give you your, your curvature. So let's start again here. We've got, our, we've got our unit tangent here. We've got our unit tangent here. Differentiate it with respect to time. So we need to differentiate this with respect to time. So differentiate this, that will then give us this thing here, differentiate this, that will then give us this thing here. We'll differentiate it with respect to time. This is a constant. So when you differentiate it, it disappears. So, um, so and, and, and this is also a constant. So this whole thing here is this whole thing here. And then, uh, and then this, remember, the magnitude of V is given by this. 
So this bit here is this bit here. So this whole thing here is this thing here. Okay. Um, if if you're if you're uncomfortable about um, differentiating this unit tangent with with this constant in front, you, you can always imagine it as this. This is a constant. So let's just imagine it has it is three is a constant, and then you've got you've got something i hat plus something i uh, j hat uh, plus something k hat. If, if, if you feel uncomfortable about having a constant here, then uh, then you can push the 3 into here, so it looks like this. Uh, 3, 3, and then when you differentiate it, this 3 will remain the same. It will remain the same, and then you can factor it back out here again. So it, this is a constant, so you can just leave it on the outside and just concentrate on differentiating what's on the inside. It, 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 will, it will be the same thing. Anyway, curvature is given by by this, I will continue in the next video, okay?